In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to find this animation that we see right here in Canva if you have a Canva Pro account and I'm going to teach you all the steps to create this animation right here and we can create it even if we have a Canva free account. I'm going to show you all the steps and also at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can insert these animations into our videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer here we are in my canva account and to start with we're going to select the video option and then the first one that says 9020 by 1080. I like to use this format because it is the same format that I use for my YouTube videos and now let's start with the canva pro animation Let's go to videos and then search for subscribe and bell button. Here we'll see a bunch of different animations that are available for Canva Pro users. So we see the little label that has a crown and then says pro. And if you have a Canva free account and you love one of these animations, you can use it but you will have to pay for the usage of this animation. If you have a Canva Pro account, you will be able to download it without any issues. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the first animation that we see right here. So let's just drag it to our empty page and let's see how it looks like. I really like the animation of the bell and the button like appearing and disappearing. I would suggest that you guys go around and see all the different animations that they have over here. Maybe you like more or you like better another different animation than the one I'm using. So I think it's a good idea for you guys to go and see what is already available over there. In my case, I will go for the first one. Now let's create the second animation. And then at the end, I will show you how to download these animations or these videos and how to insert them into our videos with the help of Adobe Premiere Pro. So we have the first animation on page number one and let's add another page so we can create our animated button from scratch. Let's go to elements and in lines and shapes click see all. Now I will add the square with rounded corners. Let's adjust the height and now let's add a text box. So let's go to text and add a heading. Here I will type subscribe and you can change the font. In my case, I'm going to use Anton. I really like this heavy font. I think it's easy to read and let's activate the uppercase button. So we have all the word in uppercase. Now go to elements and type bell animated or animated bell. Go to graphics and here we have a bunch of free animated bells that you can use on your animation. In this case I will use the white one. I will adjust the size, place it over here. Now let's change the color of the box in the background. So I will use the red and for the text so we can have a better contrast I will change the black color for white. Now I'm going to select all these elements and I'm going to group them. I think this is going to help us create a better animation later on. Next step is to add the click animation. So let's go to elements and change bell for click. Let's see what do we have in here. So we are going to open the graphics section and here again we have a bunch of free animations that you can use on your subscribe button. So I think I'm happy with this one. I'm going to adjust the size, place it near the bell and lastly let's change the color in the background for a green color. This is important for us to be able to insert this animation into our videos in Premiere Pro. And before downloading this animation, I think we can add something else to make this button even more interesting or more attractive. Let's select these elements and group them. So I selected the box in the background, the text and the bell. Now let's position it 
backwards so it goes behind this arrow and we are going to add an animation to this animated button so i'm clicking on the background and then animate here we have access to page animations and you can click on each of them to preview all the animations that Canva has for us. The first six animations that we see right here are completely free. So if you have a Canva free account, go for them. If you have a Canva Pro account, we have seven more. And in my case, because I have a Canva Pro account, I think I will use one of these. Let's go for the scrap book. And I think we are ready to go. So to download these animations, because we have two animations in the same Canva document, let's go to the navigation bar on top, click on the download button and select the first page only, download, and then do the same process, but select only the page number two. I already have my two animations downloaded into my computer and let's bring them to Adobe Premiere Pro. To do this, I'm just going to drag them inside the program and I will show you how to insert them into your video. So let's say that you have your video right here. So let's start with the Pro animation. I'm going to drag it on top of my talking head and this is how it looks. Okay, so this is the animation, but what I want is for this button to have a transparent background. So to do this, let's go to effects and type ultra, and we are going to add this effect to our animation. So let's drag the ultra key effect on top of our animation. Now let's go to effect controls, go to the ultra key section and next to key color we see a color picker. Let's click on it and then click on the green color. Like this, we now have a transparent background. And in this case, because the button is on top of my face, I can double click on it and then move it to another position on the screen. So this is how the pro animation looks like. And now let's do the same process for the free animation. So let's bring it on top of the talking head. We're going to drag the ultra key effect, go to effect controls and do the same process, color picker and click on the green background. We now have again the transparent background. Now let's see how it looks. I really, really like the animation coming upwards. I think that adds something very, very interesting. And I want to give you a little trick because if I go close to the button, I hope that you guys can see around the button, we see something like a one pixel line in green color. So if you want this animation to look amazing, go to ultra key setting and instead of default, change it for aggressive. This way, this effect is going to remove, like in an aggressive way, everything that looks green. So I think this is going to help us have a clean look on our animation. Again, if you want to move the animation on the screen, double click on it and just move it around or bring it lower so it is not on top of your face like it is here in my case. And talking about Adobe Premiere Pro, I would like to know if you guys would like to have more tutorials on the topic on that platform or maybe other different platform that you use and you don't know how to use. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro, you can go to Skillshare because at the moment we don't have tutorials on that topic, but on Skillshare you can find 400 150 courses all about Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to leave you guys an affiliate link in the description of this video and I'm talking about Skillshare today because at this moment Skillshare is giving one month 
free trial for you to test the platform and see as many courses as you want. If you go directly to Skillshare, you will only have seven days. So I think this is a very good deal. On the other hand, if you want to keep learning about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys a couple of tutorials right here that I think you're going to like. And I'm going to leave again the affiliate link here so you can try the free trial of Skillshare. I think this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I guess see you in another video. Bye!